Kingdom have agreed to establish a system to mutually recognize each other's vaccine certificates for a vaccine passport program. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe and UK High Commissioner Jane Marriott say that there has been significant public concern about the issue of vaccine certification. Following the removal of Kenya from UK's travel red list of a vaccine discrepancy, the two countries have agreed to align their vaccination programs. The move will see Kenya and UK recognize their vaccine certificates for ease of travel. Meanwhile, members of parliament have expressed concerns about the safety of COVID-19 vaccines being administered to Kenyans. But I think as a country, which of course we beg because we cannot take it by on our own, Please, I would really request that you be careful on these donations. Please. The lawmakers had invited the Ministry of Health to update Parliament on the steps being taken to ensure the government meets its vaccine target. The percent, this figure would be important, the percent of adults who are fully vaccinated is 3.2%. Health Chief Administrative Secretary Rashid Aman informed MPs that 3.3 million doses have been administered, with 2.5 million Kenyans having only received the first dose. Only 859,000 Kenyans have been fully vaccinated so far. And this comprises of uh, the AstraZeneca vaccine, which is the largest uh, type of vaccine that we have accounting for 55 percent of this figure moderna the messenger rna from usa vaccine accounts for 28 percent of that number the pfizer vaccine accounts for 11.5 percent which we expect to rise because we are we are anticipating another consignment of pfizer uh, uh, the second consignment shortly uh, we have um, the Chinese vaccine Sinopharm, which accounts for 3.2%. And we have the J&J &J vaccine, which accounts for 2.3%. Kevin Washira, Prime Edition.